We're back now at 842. This morning on today's tech, we're talking about tablets. The tech world is buzzing with the newly unveiled iPad 2. But you know, it's not the only game in town. What do you need to know before you lay out that much money for the newest high-tech toy? Mario Armstrong is a digital lifestyle expert. Mario, welcome back. Good to see hey, you. Hey, Matt. Thanks for having me back. I use the word toy. Steve Jobs went out of his way yesterday during the announcement and said, this is not a toy, the no. iPad 2. You can do real work on it. Yeah. Why are these so People popular? People are mad with you right now for saying toy No, I know. They don't like that. They don't like that. No, they're very popular because they're easy to carry. Uh, they're great computing devices. They're lightweight, great battery, powers up really fast. You don't have to look for a wall out and all these other things and internet browsing video photos all of that stuff games but they can't do everything a pc can do not everything a pc can do at least not yet right so it is a difference all right Clear so the, the main difference between ipad 2 and ipad 1 is what ah, a couple of things number one 33 percent thinner so mm -hmm. the new ipad 2 is going to be thinner it's going to be lighter weight it's about 1.3 pounds compared to 1.5 before but it also has a newer processor things are going to move faster and it has that front and rear facing camera which i think is great for video chats. conference and things yes. like that. I, that's big in my household. And by the way, same price point as the iPad 1. Same price point as iPad 1. All right, let's yep. move on. This is not and it comes the out March 11th. Right, and it's not the only game in town. A lot of competitors for this, so let's get into them and okay. compare them. The next one we want to talk about is the Motorola Zoom. Okay, why do you like this one? Love the Motorola Zoom. Saw this at CES. It was a best of a winner at CES this year. Uh, what, a couple of reasons. Number one, it, it was running on the Verizon network, mm -hmm. uh, and that gives it the opportunity to upgrade easily to 4G. Okay. So if you really are into fast internet connecti connectivity, you want to download video and watch things quickly, that's a good, a good choice Has the for newest you. Google operating system. Has the newest Google operating system. Honeycomb is the name of it. Right. And that's a big deal because the, up until then, most of the uh, operating systems were created for mobile handsets, Smartphones. This is the first operating system designed specifically for a tablet. Price interface. point compared to the iPad? A little bit more expensive. Uh, it's about $799. Okay, let's move on. Now, this next one is small. That's the first thing yes. I noticed. Samsung Galaxy. Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now, this one's the AT&T version here. This is great for consumers, but also for small business owners or entrepreneurs, because you can just put it in your coat pocket or your jeans pocket or slide it in your purse. But it will let me do as much as these two? It, it still has the Android marketplace, so you still have tons of options for applications, whether you want to manage your money or help your kids with their schoolwork, whatever it is, you can still get done. You said it's the AT&T version. Is it available on other networks? All, all uh, Verizon, okay. uh, Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, U.S. Cellular. All right. And the price point on this one? price point on that one's about $429. So you a can find less some, expensive. Yeah, a little bit less expensive, and you can find some discounts on All right. A lot of people out there find them. So, okay, I'm a BlackBerry user, or yes. I'm an Apple guy, yes. and this <laughs> is BlackBerry's version of the tablet. Yes, they came out with the Playbook, and I love the way this device looks. and we love the way it feels in the hand. About the same size as this one. Yeah, but it's thinner, and it's lighter, and it has this beautiful opportunity here. Let me show you. It does multitasking very, very well. So this is a video that's actually going to be playing, but as you can see, I can also pull up an Excel spreadsheet. I can switch back and I can pull up a video game. So uh, what I'm showing you here is the ability for it to be able to do multitasking. Which really real does separate it a little bit from some of these over here. They're not as easy to multitask. No, on. not at all. All right, no. what's the price tag on this? By the way, this isn't out yet, but it's coming out in the spring, correct? That's right, and we don't know exactly what the price tag is going to be around. It should be around 500 bucks. Is it fair to say, Mario, this is more geared toward the business user, or is this as much of a personal device as these others? I I think, uh, I think it's geared more towards that enterprise user, the corporate user, the business professional. However, you can do all of the consumer things that you love to do on this device. All but right. it does have some security features in, embedded in it as well that I think lend itself better to business. All right. We talk about hybrid cars. This, this version over <laughs> here, this kind of reminds me of what would be a hybrid PC, yeah, it's a convertible. tablet, whatever. That's right. You drop the top, maybe. It's on the this Dell one. Duo. The Dell Duo. So you can see here, full screen keyboard. Uh, it's a netbook, so it has Windows 7 operating system on here. But you pop the screen like so, and you flip it down, Matt, and it becomes a tablet device. And it's touch screen, so you can start using it just like you would any other tablet. Now, obviously, it's a little bit heavier and right. it's a little bit different size. But if you want the best of both worlds, a keyboard and a tablet, this might be a good choice for you. And price on that again? Price on this range is, you got to look online. I don't even want to give a price because it's been changing so much. Available but now? Available. This is available now. Okay, yep. great. Mario, always good, and you get through so much in so little time. That's, well, that's fantastic. That's good. I think the biggest point that I should make with folks is that if they're going to buy a tablet, really do their homework because they aren't cheap. And if you don't already have a computer in the household, don't buy these first. Get a computer first for your household, that's then look at a tablet. That's very good advice. Very, very good. Mario, thank you very much. Thanks.